Markets being a little bit stubborn today, but that might not be the case tomorrow when the market opens. What's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions, and tomorrow is the PCE report, and this is everything that you need to know about it before it actually gets reported. So first off, there were a series of economic reports that were released today. So today, right uh, shortly after the market opened during our live trading session, we actually caught new home sales being reported and it came in a little bit lower than what was expected. Expectation of the forecast was 636,000 and the overall reported was 619,000. So a little bit lower than what was expected. Not good, not bad. But again, market uh, didn't really react to that. Tomorrow is the big, big report. So what to expect on Friday's report as the Fed's preferred measure of inflation. Yes, the Federal Reserve, the the, the people People that get to decide, are we going to be raising, cutting, or pausing interest rates? The preferred measure of inflation is the report that's going to be released tomorrow, and that is the PCE report. When does it get released? It gets released one hour before the market opens at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, or if you're in Arizona or the West Coast like me, it's at 5.30 uh, a.m. Did I say 8.30 p.m.? It's 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time or 5.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. My apologies. The forecast for tomorrow is 2.6% and our current rate of PCE for inflation is 2.7%. So we actually expect a slight drop. You can see that we came from overall highs of 6.8% and we have made steady progress. But for the past two to three months, we've been showing a lot of signs of a support. So it's going to be very, very simple. And I want to make this very straightforward. If this PCE report comes in higher than what is expected of the 2.6%, be ready for markets to drop. Higher PCE inflation is not going to be good for the market. Be ready for markets to drop. And if overall markets drop, you're overall big tech companies will drop as well, especially as they've become much more overbought based off of recent patterns. But if our overall PCE inflation rate comes in at 2.6% or less, then yes, markets could be green tomorrow. So be ready and be in the lookout for that. So I don't want you to be surprised tomorrow when you see the market, when it opens, that it's gapped up or it's gapped down. You should all be aware PCE report tomorrow, right before the market opens. And this will affect, you, you know, everything. It will affect S&P 500. It will affect Dow Jones. The other stock that I quickly want to talk about is Rivion. We talked about Rivion because it was up over 50%. And I made something very clear in yesterday's video. It was great news. Rivion uh, announced a partnership with Volkswagen up to a $5 billion investment. Great, great, great. It gapped up 50%. What did I say towards the end of the video? I made it very clear of, hey, it's going to be very interesting to see if Rivion continues to run with the hype or begins to pull on back. And we could see, again, There's a, this is why there's a saying is, you know, any reaction can be an overreaction in this market. And Rivion is no exception to that. So big gap up, a lot of selling pressure today, a lot of people taking profits, and it makes sense. It's still really good news, but of course, it's just an overreaction. You can't take it personally. You have to take it as what it is. It's news is a catalyst, and it's normally a short-lived catalyst. So this is why we always talk about taking profits when it makes sense. Other than that, just wanted to make sure that you are aware of that. Be ready for a little bit more selling pressure. I have not shorted Rivion yet. I missed my little opportunity when I got rejected off of this five-minute EMA. We talked about it during my live trading session, but because of the red day that I had yesterday, I'm just being a little bit less um, trigger happy, or uh, someone called it in uh, our LPP live trading session. I'm being a little uh, gun shy uh, to pull the trigger on a trade if my overall confirmation or direction isn't fully met yet. So I'm just trying to be careful, trying to be calculated and making sure the next trade that I take to the best of my ability for it to end in the green. So I appreciate your time. Hope that earned your thumbs up. I'd love to invite you to tomorrow's live trading session, especially if you want to see how the market reacts after that PCE report. That's going to be that second link in the description down below. You can sign up today and watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow by the time the market opens. And yes, right now it is 50% off. So by clicking that second link down below, it's a one-time payment, lifetime access, and 50% off. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.